Well, it is the first day back for schools in Maryland today, which means school buses are back on the roads this morning. This year, every bus in Montgomery County will have safety cameras on the outside of the buses. The number of people caught passing those lights last year, 54,000. We sat down with some of the people who see these close calls every single day, and we do want to warn you, there's video in this that's pretty disturbing. If you ask any school bus driver why they do what they do, they all have the same answer. Love the kids. Where I, that's why I started. That'd be what takes me out of here. They are my kids. Once they are in my bus, they are my kids, definitely. Yeah. This year, all 1,300 buses in Montgomery County will have cameras on the outside to catch drivers ignoring those flashing red lights. If you get caught, you'll owe 250 bucks. Fines should be higher. You'll stop all this here if the fines are higher. Nobody's going to pay $1,000 for running a red light camera on a school bus. Should be $1,000. Last year, the cameras caught more than 54,000 cars driving past a stopped bus with its lights on. Some of the footage is hard to watch. One video shows a car ignoring the stopped school bus and hitting a teen in the crosswalk. The teen survived because her backpack broke her fall. Could have killed that child. You know, that's that's what could happen. And, um, you know, I mean, what, I mean what, what can you say to somebody like that? Because I'm looking at my cargo, you know, my precious cargo, and I mean, it angers me. It's these close calls the drivers see every single day, and they want it to stop. You know, know the law. You know the law. That's it. Slow down. Slow down. You don't want that. You do not want to get somebody else's baby out there. Nobody, like I said, nobody wants to do that. So just take it easy, guys. Stop that, man. You get there. You'll get there. You get to work eventually. And to put things into context for you, police say the number of tickets are increasing because the number of cameras on the buses are increasing. But overall, they say this program is working because the per bus rate being passed is going down. So that is good news. Now we want to take a look at some scenarios on when you should stop for a school bus. When it's a two way road, cars heading in both directions must stop. But how about multi lane roads? There's a bit more distance between the bus and the cars on the other side. But again, in this scenario, everyone has to stop because kids could be crossing the road. Now, here's where things get a little bit different and get confusing for some people. Divided highways where the middle of the road is paved off or has a grass median strip. Only vehicles on the bus side have to stop. But on the other side, you should still slow down and use caution anyway. And also, if you just see a bus on the road, get ready to stop. And if you don't know the law, best bet is to just stop. Exactly. Yeah.